Welcome back. Got another episode about outsourcing. John Jonas here, creator of virtualassistanttool.com. And in this video, we're talking about what life would be like without outsourcing. Now we filmed a few videos earlier today and we kind of referenced the fact that we are in a new paradigm. I've been hiring people in the Philippines for nine years now, and you said 13? Yeah. 13 years, so we, we live in this world where outsourcing is our everyday thing. I've got 10 full-time employees, you've got 24. So where do you think life would be right now if we had never learned to hire people in the Philippines? I mean, where would life be? I don't know, man. That's so <laughs> my, my company would not but, exist. The services that I offer, I could well, not. Well, mine wouldn't either. Yeah. I'm sure I would have something else, right? But there were so many things that I did along the way that weren't possible without understanding this. I remember, I'll give you an example. Sure. This didn't happen for me. Uh, I, was, I was working with two guys. One guy had this big drop ship. I'll talk about the whole thing. So like guys here in the U.S.? In the U.S., okay. yeah. One guy had a big drop shipping uh, catalog. And I was working with someone else who understood a whole bunch of, of business stuff and connecting the two together of like, hey, his, his dropshipping catalog is being sold to a whole bunch of people and he's letting them pick pieces out of it. But we want to take the entire thing and put it all online as a website, right? Mm -hmm. And it was so daunting to take the idea of we have thousands of products here and we have to write descriptions and content around them and adding them into the, because there's no, he doesn't have a feed. It's all, it was so daunting to take that, that we just gave up, right? So this business never happened because I didn't know at the time what was possible. Mm -hmm. If I had had the knowledge that I have now of like, oh, I can hire a couple people in the Philippines who are smart and they're going to take this and write good content and they're going to uh, organize it correctly and, and it's going to be well done, I would probably have a website today that was selling a whole bunch of things that are drop shipped. For me, that was like, I think about that often, like I just, I, had, I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't know what was possible. I didn't know that I could hire someone for $400 a month for full-time work and they're intelligent. Yeah, looking at the, the, if you do an internet search around outsourcing, most of the stuff that you find is, is pretty negative. It's, there's a positive stigma about things that are made in the USA. Yeah. But it's, it's kind of hypocritical because everything that we buy is manufactured. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is an older iPhone, the iPhone 6S, but it's, it wasn't made in the USA. No. And like, we shop at, we shop at a grocery store. We, well, let's, let's use Walmart. Yeah. All the items on the shelves, you pick it up and we'll say made in China, or okay. made in Indonesia, made in Brazil. Vietnam, um, yeah. So obviously, I guess, we, you know, if a product is made in USA, somehow that makes it better. But so when I got started, I tried hiring people in the US and it just didn't work for me. And there were multiple factors involved, whatever. Okay. Today I have 24 people in the Philippines and I have a couple people in the US who work for me. And that wouldn't exist. Those jobs don't exist without outsourcing because I don't get to this point where I can afford these, these really specialty people in the U S without my team in the Philippines getting me mm -hmm. to that point. Well, it, it totally applies in my business as well. I mean, I've, I've got some amazing services that I offer and it's not my, my services are not cheap to, to work with me on my done for you service. It's a six figure package. Yeah. Okay. It's an expensive service, but that is because it's, it's actually extremely affordable. We're creating like a year's worth of episodes. And we're able to do all that and, ha and do it at the quality that we're doing it because of our amazing team in the Philippines. Yeah. I don't think we realize what our quality of life is because of outsourcing. I definitely think we take it for granted. Yeah. So yeah, the blessings that we have of living in a, in a great country like this with the freedoms that we have, but especially the prosperity that we have, the comforts that we enjoy, we, we really live like kings and queens. You know, the things, the luxuries that we enjoy in our home that uh, just rewind a hundred years. Yeah. Well, and I see people all the time that, you know, I'll, I'll talk about this. I'll talk about how you can hire someone full time who is intelligent and talented and hardworking and loyal for $500 a month. And 
they're as competent as the person that you would have paid $15 an hour in the U.S. or more. You get this. And, and when people hear this and they hear all that goes into it and their loyalty and, and the kind of work that they do, often they're like, oh my gosh, you just opened up a world for me. And they didn't know that. And so for, when, for me, when you ask what would, the, what would life be like without outsourcing, I see so many people that like have no clue. Yeah. And, and then they're like, dude, you got to make this more known because they start a business and they succeed with it. And that's kind of the reaction that I get often. I mean, it's, it's such a great blessing. It's such a great help. It, it provides so much more to be created. You know, all the different services I've offered through the years from web design, the marketing services that I've had, the different video services, they would not have existed for small businesses at the, the price point and the, the value that they would not have existed without outsourcing. Right. And thinking about like what you said, there's a lot of people around me that I associate with that they have no idea that this, this opportunity exists. And that's part of the reason why I love making videos like this is because it's like, come on guys, this, this is available. Yeah. So what would it be like? I guess it would be like what it's like for them where they don't, they're not, they're, their business is growing really slowly. Yeah. I hope this video was helpful. If, if this brings up any other questions, I want to continue this conversation about outsourcing. I'm in the paradigm of, I've been outsourcing for, for nine years, you even longer. So there's probably questions that you have about outsourcing that we would know exactly how to answer. We just don't know what those questions are. So whether you're on YouTube or on LinkedIn, comment below and that'll give us ideas of future episodes that we can come out with. Till then, we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.